After reading this book I decided to conduct my own research about the moon. Uh, what I learned was this, is that the, uh, it is the CIA and the Department of Defense who control all the information that is released or not released to the public about the moon. Uh, this is done lawfully by classifying the information as top secret on the basis of national security. And we're not speaking about a conspiracy, it's lawful to withhold or censor classified information. NASA, who performs the uh, United States space missions, is merely the agent for the CIA and the DOD. NASA gives the illusion to the public that the space exploration uh, is a civil undertaking. Now, why do uh, or why does the CIA and uh, the Department of Defense control uh, the uh, photography that was taken over the moon? Is because it is the cameras, the film that was used to photograph the lunar surface. The author of this book. shows various photographs. These photographs, he claims, shows objects on the moon. These objects belong to uh, whoever they are up there. And uh, his hypothesis is that they're excavating up there, probably for energy. So I conducted my own research to see if I could see other or find other lunar photographs that showed objects on the moon. Here we go. This is Lunar Orbiter 4, 44H2, where the red arrow, red arrow shows there is a, uh, a something very tall in the center. You can just see two projections coming out from either side, and you can see that in the shadow it casts. So if you want to check that out, go to the Lunar and Planetary Institute, Lunar Orbiter Shots, and uh, get it right there. Lunar Orbiter 4-44H2. This is a photograph of the crater Schrodinger. Now, right here, there's a very large spherical object, very large indeed. Right here, there's an object which has what looks like a wire or whatever it is coming out of it right here. You want to type in the, uh, the name of the crater, which is Schrodinger, to see that. Now, you'll see why that most people won't see this because in the original photograph there, if it's not enlarged, you won't see any of this detail. So, as I said, large spherical object right here. Also, all in this area here, uh, other what you might call uh, improvements on the lunar surface, in other words, uh, structures. Right here, here's a photograph of spacecraft. Again, Lunar Orbiter, Lunar Orbiter 4130M. Spacecraft down here, spacecraft up here. The very next frame taken, Lunar Orbiter 4131M. The spacecraft at the bottom has moved or, and is now joined right up there. You can see it right up there. So it has moved in that short space of time and joined up there with the larger spacecraft. An orbiter 4-44M. Again, is this another photograph of a spacecraft? This is uh, Apollo 17. If you look very carefully, on the top here you have to get this photograph there is a line which goes all the way down across then up I suggest you that that is a hatch also if you look very carefully here you see two little knobs on this projection in this uh, little hole here again here if you look on this object here there is a projection coming out of the front uh, just a long straight line it casts a shadow just here and on the side here there's also two large uh, bumps you have to get this particular image. This is uh, an astronaut standing in front of uh, Split Rock. You have to ask yourself, if there is no uh, weather on the moon and all these boulders get to where they are by uh, the result of impacts, then how is it that they just sit very softly on the surface there? First of all, and also how come there are no uh, bump or, or marks 
on the lunar surface indicating where it skidded to a halt. This one here is just sitting there. Same with this one right here. Just sitting very nicely on top of the lunar surface, making no indentation on the lunar surface. How can that be? This one here, Apollo 17. If you look in the, uh, the antenna here, what is this showing here? They say it is a reflection from uh, the solar panel on the, uh, the camera, which is located on the front. Uh, right here, they say that uh, there's a solar panel which is casting reflection here. But if you look very carefully, right, again, you should get the image. You can see all these pipes, etc., underneath this uh, object. Again, another image taken uh, probably a couple of shots later. Again, same thing, showing all the pipes there. Furthermore, count the. Uh, uh, on this resolution, very difficult. There are rocks in the background. There's only three visible here. You can see down here. This is the uh, the number of the photograph. In this area here, there's four rocks. So one of these rocks has suddenly come into the picture, which wasn't there before. Check out the uh, some strange glyphs right here. In fact, to me, if you can see them uh, when you look at them on the web, it looks like one, two, three, maybe a four, and then a, another glyph there. And the funny thing is, right here, there's actually uh, craters in the form of an arrow. This is being the tip of the arrow, and then uh, you have to look at it on the web. There's the uh, the number right here. Apollo 16. Who knows what the hell that is right there. No doubt they have a very uh, uh, simplistic explanation of what this is. It looks as though it's just half. If you were to put the mirror image on the other side, you probably have a guess of maybe what it is. All right, there's a shadow underneath it. There's the background. The lunar horizon right there. This image is the image of the crater Daedalus, where the uh, right here there's a very large structure on the lip of the crater. Uh, there's a semicircular cutout piece right here. Now it's visible on the hard copy photograph. If you see this online, they have airbrushed all the uh, all the sharp features out around here, so it just looks like a, a very nice soft. Uh, like a, a sand dune type effect. They've airbrushed all this. And there's other features on this photograph which indicate that there are structures. Anyway, these are some of the photographs that I found. I will present another video later on to continue the story about somebody else is on the moon. Thank you.